So action photography is always quite fast paced, but when you involve an engine, then it takes the speed up a few notches. I've always loved action photography. And when I got involved into taking photographs of bikes jumping and windsurfers jumping, and uh, I went down to Blue Rock and I started photographing cable skiers, it, it got really fast. And I absolutely love the action and love to freeze the action. Uh, I even got a picture entered into the Red Bull a snapshot competition and was a finalist which was really cool uh, eventually I started going to rallies I used to take my son with and one of the things I remember doing was to uh, make him stand on top of my bucky's rooftop so that I could spot him and that would prevent him from wandering off in front of the cars um, we met some incredible race drivers guys like Janil de Villiers and Enzo Keen it was just fantastic to photograph the action and, and that it's funny how things like this sometimes prepare you for the next step so when i was asked to do photographs for a friend of mine who wrote for porsche magazine in the uk uh, i was ready to take some fast-paced action you know the trick is to to photograph the cars and uh, in the photograph you're supposed to see the speed it's pretty easy to photograph a moving object with a flash and uh, make it look like it's stationary but when a car is driving at over 200 kilometers an hour to then freeze the action uh, but still make the wheels and the background look like the car is moving at 200 k's an hour that is exactly what you want to do with speed photography uh, this prepared me for you know a lot of uh, action shots at Kilani motorbikes and cars and that prepared me for my next gig which was I think it was the end of 2016 when I was approached by an old school friend of mine who was doing some motorbike racing he had a very bad accident broke his back and he was on the on the road to recovery and one of the things that he wanted to do was to actually compete in a very tough very dark car race uh, or the dark car as it's now known i followed the race for many many years and absolutely loved the race so i jumped at the opportunity uh, the gig for me was to do the social media uh, for for club sport Hitler, team superman and that involved us going to the Tampa Karua for a long weekend where I photographed thousands of uh, shots of bikes speeding past me and you know, sliding around the corners and just the fun stuff. I worked with a guy who operated a drone which was nice to work with and I worked with a professional photographer who joined us on the trip who did all the stills and it was also nice to, to work as a team and not try to be the one to just get the magic shot. You know, he, I had a role to play and it was good fun. So which also showed me the amount of effort that goes into competing in a race like the Dakar. So that's what I love about photography. You sometimes get behind the scenes and you get to see what the guys have to put in to, to become the sportsmen and sportswomen that they are. So I just love, love doing that and uh, will continue to photograph the fast moving action. And for me, the, the cherry on top of the cake was when the professional photographer after the, our weekend in the Tankwa actually phoned me up on the Sunday evening and he said to me, you know, he, he uh, had a look at what I was doing with my mobile phone because I was doing everything on my mobile phone, the videos. And it actually, for him as a qualified photographer who studied photography, it gave him a lot of, lot of food for thought and freedom uh, to think about. You know, he didn't have, uh, he, he thought I didn't have really boxes that I had to tick. I just com composed the shot and, and went for it. So for me, that was the biggest compliment to work in a team, to work with other photographers and then have someone afterwards call me and say that he, he really admired the way that I went about doing my stuff. So I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing, but I don't have any professional qualifications. So I just fire away and, and hopefully it works.